What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Miami Flow Football. I'm Caned Up, and today you're going to hear me chop it up with Daniel. He's got his own YouTube channel on Canes998. Make sure you check him out. We're going to be talking about the prediction for the Clemson game. The mothers. All right, now to the main event. You know, the, the big show. It's uh, Miami and Clemson. As you probably already know, they got Clemson favored by two touchdowns, minus 14. And I'm going to give you the floor, my friend. Caned up. I have been thinking about this all week. I have been asking myself these questions. Are the Canes ready to take on the big moment? Clemson has been here before. This group hasn't. Clemson has won two of the last four titles. They have been in the college football playoff. They have been in the national championship game for the last six years. So the big moment is this, this type of moment is nothing new to them. For this, for Manny and this group, it is. Now, yeah, we played Florida last year, but nothing on this level of this magnitude against an elite opponent like Clemson. Okay. Are we ready to take on the moment? I would say yes. But in the end, I got to believe if we get the chain out twice, minimum, and do not under any circumstances turn the ball over, I think we have a very good shot to win. But do we, do we, but will we win? You know, it pains me to say this, but I'm going to say in big moments, experience matters. Clemson's got it. They got the two best players in the country on their side in Sunshine, Trevor Lawrence, and Travis Etienne. King's going to be a great one. But in the end, I'm going to say Clemson wins but does not cover. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put, put some pressure on you. Give me a score. I was asked that Tuesday night. In the last 72 hours, nothing's changed on that. I'm going to go... Clemson 31, 31, Canes 27. Sunshine and ETN win it on the final drive, in my opinion. Okay. Okay. I respect that because I have to say you made a lot of valid points that if you know football, you really can't argue with a lot of your points. They were pretty solid. I, I am not going to push back on any of your points, to be honest. Uh, as far as your, your facts, because Clemson is Clemson. They earn our respect. Um, I see this game coming down to two things other than the obvious things, right? You know, Trevor, the running back, you know, I, I get all that. But I see two things that I don't hear a lot of people talking about. The first one is red zone. I think whoever is, wins the red zone battle, I think both teams are going to move the ball. I don't see defenses stopping these offenses. I really don't. I think both teams put up 25-plus points. No problem. Okay, no problem on that. I would be shocked if either team puts up under 25. Shocked. But I think it's going to be who kicks more field goals and who puts the ball in the end zone more. The team that kicks more field goals, I don't think they're going to win it. I think you got to go in the red zone and put it in the end. It, you got to go in the red zone and put it in the end zone. And I think it's going to be something that's overlooked until the end of the game. And again, we're guessing, we're projecting, who knows how it's going to go because it's going to rain, you know? So they're, if they're predicting rain, this whole thing could be a mess. A lot of fumbles, you know, we don't know how hard the rain's going to be. More zone than man, that's going to be for sure. But I think red zone's massive. I think uh, scoring touchdowns once you get inside the 20 is going to be the key. And then the other key is, is something that I, I talked about in my last video uh, with the keys to victory is, I don't think their linebackers can cover. I think they're great IQ guys. I think they're downhill. They're really good against the run. I really believe that. But when I watch them, um, you know, clearly we all came, we've been watching tape on, on Clemson like crazy the last probably week. They don't cover well. They really don't cover well. And I think 
that is a strength that we can exploit. And uh, something that you and I talked about, a side note that we talked about, you know, off camera was that LSU game where last year where Clemson had a hard time getting in the defensive call because of the tempo that LSU was running and they were getting the defensive call in too late and the guys were out of position. I don't know anyone who goes faster than Rhett Lashley or tries to go faster than Rhett Lashley. So let's see if they got that corrected because if they didn't get that corrected and they had trouble with the tempo from LSU, they're going to have a lot of trouble with us. So that being said, it was hard to fight my heart and my head on this, to be honest, because clearly diehard King fan, I have it. And you're going to laugh. I, I bet you I see a smile on camera right now. I wish I could say this is going to be a draw. Cause I have it. I see this game being played out two completely different ways. One with Clemson winning in a certain way and one with the Canes winning in a certain way. So that being said, if it's a tie, I'm going with my heart. And I got the Canes winning 34, 24. And that 24 could be 28. I just think that it might be a field goal, not a touchdown that they get. So I got 34, 24 or 30 or, or, or 34, 28. That's my prediction. And I got the Kings and you know what? I don't think you're wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong either. That's how weird this is for me. I can see this going both ways. I love the coaching staff they got over there, but I really, really like the interviews of the players this week. I watched every interview of, of the players probably four times. I couldn't believe their demeanor, their answers, the calmness, the way they spoke, the coaches, the way they spoke. No rah, rah, rah. No, uh, let's go. Just real to the point. I like the mindset. And being that they can't have all their fans in their stadium, which I would have leaned a little bit the other way, I think, if they would have had, what is it, 85 or whatever it is in that stadium. I might have leaned back to Clemson because I think that would have caused us a few penalties, you know? So, yeah, I'm taking Canes 34-24 or 34-28, one of those two numbers. I couldn't get after it. And uh, I hope I'm right. <laughs> you know, I hope I'm right. But I, yeah. I, believe, we got, I believe we got some dogs right now. I, I just think we got some guys that are not going to back down. We might be out of position. We might make some undisciplinary plays. I, I see that happening. But I, I don't see us – getting punched and not punching back. I just don't see this team being that team yet. I really don't. I mean, you want to you wanna say anything to that? I got to tell you, like I said, are we ready for the moment? Are we ready? Is this, let's make no mistake, and I'll say this right now. This is the biggest game of Manny's career, without question. It is easily the biggest game of his career. This team has to show we're ready for the moment. That's the way I all, see it. All the media is all over it. Game day uh, again is with us. You know, uh, I, I know they're hyping it up, but when you look at the numbers, it's tough to see a lot of holes, in my opinion, in, in either team, if you were just to rate them this year. Not history, not the last five years, not the last seven years. This year, if you if you can take out, which is hard to do, you know, the national championships that Clemson's recently got, the playoffs, the big games have been in, which which all matters. Plus, the coaching staff's been together, right? But if you just look at the meat and potatoes of this year, I think it's a stalemate. I really do. I I, just, I can't see, I I wouldn't be surprised if either team won. And that's not me being a Kane fan and going, oh come on. That's just look at the numbers. We got a really good quarterback. We got a stable of running backs. They got a really good quarterback. They got a great running back. We got the best tight end combo in the nation. They got solid receivers. They got a young line. We have a great defensive line. Linebackers X each other out. I think defensive backs, we have better safeties. They might have better corners. Who knows? Special teams, don't even talk to me about special teams. We kick their ass in special teams. We have a better punter and we have a better kicker. They only have a better kick returner. So two to one there. But experience, as you said, my friend, and coaching staff is where they make up that other stuff. And, and I still think, and, and I'm going to go on record saying this, I think Trevor Lawrence is the best quarterback I've seen in the last five, six years in college wow. football. Because a lot of people say Burrow, but that's one year. 
And that one year, nobody could take away from Burrow. Like, that was in, unreal what he did. And like you remember we of, faced Burrow. Yeah. But you remember, but you look at the body of work of Trevor, freshman into the national, you know, when he went to Clemson for the championship and what he's become as far as, and he's a beast. You see his size? The throws he made against Virginia, I just was just like, I was doing this. I was like, wow, that's, that's, a, that's a Sunday throw. That, that's a Sunday throw. That's another Sunday throw, <laughs> you know? So I, they have my respect for sure. I'm so excited to see where we stand Saturday night. Absolutely. I'll take it, like I said, I'll take it a step further. If the, 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 like I said, the two best players in this game are on Clemson. And like I you agree. said, with the coaching staff, Manny's been, Dabo's been here before. And I think if it's a white knuckle type of fight, Dabo usually wins those. And experience in th- those said games, Clemson has been there before. Manny hasn't. Not in a big game like this. You're right. You're right. I, I-, I can't, uh, you know, again, you- I-, I feel you're, you're a person that – that thinks too much with their heart if you go against that because that's reality. But I do think that our quarterback is not far behind. I think our running backs, not far behind. I think our tight end is – everyone talks about the tight end from the Gators. That guy doesn't block. He's, he might be the best catching tight end, Pitts. Yes, yes, Pitts. Yeah, he might be the best catching tight end, but he doesn't block. So if you're talking tight end, Revan Jordan is the best tight end in America. You know, and – He's on our team. Oh, and just in case you forgot, Mallory is no slouch. You know, and, the, and then the one thing that you know this, and I know you know this, and I'm, I'm thinking you have it in your heart deep, is that scheme we have right now with a bye week, we were terrible in bye weeks in the past. This is an entire different offensive staff. We can't be worse. We're not going to come out and be worse. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, absolutely not. So imagine giving this guy this much time to prepare, you know? I, I don't know. I, I'm probably being a little hopeful, and that's okay because I love my Canes. But I don't think I'm crazy on this one. I, I might be a little too much like because I'm a Cane, but I'm not crazy. We're, we're more in this game than people realize. Yeah, we're going to be in this game for four quarters, and especially if the rain's in the forecast. And there is rain projected Saturday, not tomorrow night up in Clemson. Yeah. We have – and I, I'll say two – here are my keys. One, we must pressure sunshine. Two, we must finish tackles. Against, I, I showed you this off camera. The, what Virginia did not do against ETN. Yep. The holes were there. We have got to have gap control. Yep. And, I, and I'll bet you that's been an emphasis this week for Manny. Manny in the defense. And Manny's calling the defense. Manny is more involved in the defense this week. Did you notice that? You know what? I didn't know that. That's, that's really good to hear. I'm actually happy. I, I, don't, I think Blake Baker gets a little too much heat. You know, yes, the, it, it, how easy it is it to criticize somebody. It's the easiest thing to do, right? But the guy's done a solid job overall. We might be pissed at some of the calls he makes, but he's not. He's a top 15 D coordinator, whether people like it or not. You yeah, absolutely. That. I mean, the absolutely. facts are there. Yeah, that, that's going to be one matchup. Tony Elliott, the offensive coordinator, Clemson, against against Baker. Yeah, and also Sunshine against Baker. Now, if you notice, like Sunshine is able to audible a lot. I don't know if you caught that or not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's able to audible. So Baker's got it. We got it. Manny and Baker got us confused. Sunshine at the line of scrimmage because I yep. think that's going to be another battle within the battle. Yeah, I agree. I, I, the I agree. And the, the one thing I hope that doesn't happen, and again, I don't know how the game's going to unfold because of the weather, but I hope we stay patient and not just start bringing the blitz because if you've studied anything about Clemson, Trevor kills the blitz. Well, there you have it. That's the gist of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed us chopping it up. We're going to do that every Friday and start making predictions for the ACC every Friday so you guys can have a little fun and listen to us. Thanks for supporting us, guys. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button. We're definitely new to YouTube, but we're not new to the Hurricanes. Go Canes.